Hello everyone and welcome back to The Gregory Show. This week's show is all about Valentine's Day. I hate Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, seriously, I do not like the holiday whatsoever. I, you know, people who are like, but it's Valentine's Day. Please, if you're with someone, every day is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is just a day to cater to sex or a day to cater to single people when they go inside like their local supermarket, get a big box of chocolate, eat 30 pounds, and then the next day are depressed, and so they run off that 30 pounds at the gym. Yeah, Valentine's Day is just evil for everybody. I have been single since 2017, and I have been thriving. But there does come the time every once in a while, usually Valentine's Day, where I'm like, oh, I want to be with somebody. It's been a time. But I always used to be the person that was like this. Hi, quick question. Um, do you have discounts for people who are single today or currently depressed? I'm sorry about that. Oh, damn it. Um, <laughs> can I get a large Coke, please? <laughs> and now I'm just the kind of person that's like, whatever. I'm just, yeah. I'm doing YouTube shows by myself alone. That's where my life is right now. It's great. Anyways, I don't want to waste any time, but speaking of being single, that's what this first sketch is all about. It's about four men who are all like, screw it, we don't have anything, so we have each other. And our first sketch, which is one I like to call the Valentine's Day Men's Club. Please enjoy. Gents, here's to another year of being single and ready to mingle to the Valentine's Day Men's Club. You know, I'm starting to think that might be my breath that smells bad, and that's not why I'm getting girls. Do you know that I haven't been kissed by a girl since my mom kissed me the night when she died in a car accident? Yeah, that's why. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I have no problem in bringing home chicks. My issue is when they want you to commit to the relationship. Like, no, I said in my Tinder bio, here for a good time, not a long time. Get that right. <sighs> My issue is I'm trying to find someone who loves me the way I love them. Oh, but the last Americans are too dry and the Italians are too wet. Mm, sounds like such an inconvenience. Ah, oh, but it is, Sammy, it is. No American truly wants love. It's just they want a good night and then poof, gone in the morning. Oh, it's just the American way. I used to tell girls my name was Casper. Friend the during the night, ghost during the day. I once got ghosted after using a Ouija board, but that ghost wasn't friendly at all. I couldn't walk for a week. Nah, <laughs> been there or done that, and it's all fun and games though you cannot sit down the next morning. Honestly. What, I was curious at one point. So, who thinks this year is their year to get picked up? Nah, nah, I don't want to be tied down in no relationship. I just want to be tied down with no strings attached later. Are you always horny, Jim? I don't know about the rest of you, but if there is one thing that I know about being gay, it is that you have to find your love in third world country in Europe somewhere. I swear, it's the only way how you can do it. Personally, I've been thinking about going to Bulgaria. I want to go to Bulgaria. They'll kill you without hesitation. Plus, they have teeth like the British, it's just, uh-uh, no. And schlongs like the English, too. You don't want a British schlong. Why not? Uh, let me pull up a picture. See, there's two tabs. Oh, oh, I was so confused for years. Uh, damn, all this talk about schlongs and Brits is getting me a little antsy. Mm, the sexual tension in this room right now makes me want to take a girl down to a basement. What? I have a mini bar. Oh, oh, I got an idea. How about we go to bar and we pick up chicks and dicks? Uh? Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, it's young, hot, sexy, single people just grinding on one another. Just, mm, mm, oh, ah, damn. Oh, can we go? Please, please, please. Sure. Let's boogie. Thank God I'm wearing my sexy underwear. I don't wear underwear. Does Mike have to go? 
We love a group of supportive brothers. We really do. And you know what? That is honestly the hallmark of Valentine's Day. If you're single, just go to a bar and find someone. I don't recommend it, but you know what? Do it. There's someone outside my window right now. <gasps> it's my moment. Hello. But before I go, my next sketch is all about Dear Libby, or more specifically, Dear Ruby. You know who Dear Libby is. You're right into her and she tells you how to make your life better. And Madam Ruby, well, <laughs> Yeah, here's the sketch. Please enjoy. Hello! And now it's time, boils and ghouls, for another segment of Dear Ruby. <laughs> ah, oh, get down, get down. The world wants answers, and that will be asking for you. Let's take a look into the crystal. Yes. Mm, you'll send that of your questions in fear of Valentine's Day. And the answer is yes, I can answer your question. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Jesus, you want me to read all of I mean, ah, yes! <laughs> Let's see what we've got. <laughs> Be it not from Ruby, my husband finally wants to start a family. Oh, how nice for you. But there's a small problem. <gasps> Uh-oh. I've lied about my age. <laughs> he thinks I'm 35, but I'm actually 70. I just have great genes. Good for you. How do I tell him without breaking his heart? Fearing he'll divorce me. You'll see, he's a doctor, so you can imagine the life I live. I can. Wish I could live it. Sincerely, gold digging bitch. <laughs> well, go getting wet. Let's take a look into the crystal and see what we can find. Mm. Oh. Ah. The only thing I can suggest to you is fake it till you make it. Dear Ruby, my high school sweetie and I are finally going steady. Oh, good for you. And he gave me a promise ring, and I gave him a bracelet. Do oh. people seriously still do that? <laughs> anyway, I fear he's cheating on me with our homeroom teacher, Mr. Green. Oh. What should I do? Shine a bottom in distress? Now, let's look to the crystal, Mr. Bottom. <sighs> Well, personally, I don't know what's stopping you, Twink. When you go to the bars on the weekend, you're always chasing after older or younger men. I just say, have a three-way and call it a day. Just get a little drunk. It'll work, trust me. All right, next question. Oh, dear. Oh, me. Oh, my. An urgent message. <gasps> dear Ruby, I'm going through it. I have six adopted children I can't stand, a husband I swear is gay, and a maid who's so damn dumb and acts like she's in a 1970 sitcom. <laughs> Not to mention I live in a house with one bathroom. I've had it. I plan to run away or off myself and considering doing it in the one bathroom to teach them all a lesson. What do you think? Sign, Harry and Hopeless. <laughs> wow. I wonder who this could be. Personally, darling, you'll do your next. Dear Ruby, can you recommend some great Well, <laughs> Honey and uh, needing milk. If you get the mirror on the ceiling and some fine toys and a little swing, you're all set. Well, that's all for today. Call me crazy, call me psychic. Send in your questions and then next time Madam Ruby will answer your crisis. Until next time. <laughs>
Well, uh, that's the end of the show for you guys this week. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day for whoever's celebrating. <laughs> uh, and for everyone who's single, kudos to you. You're doing great. Probably better than the people in relationships, let's be real. Uh, if you did enjoy the show this week, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Click that bell for notifications to be updated about my latest videos. And I will see you all in the next video. Woohoo! Yeah, all right. Peace out. Where am I going? I gotta, I gotta stop this. Bye. <laughs>